Hey there, so today we have another review. This is the first one of the, oh, actually not the first one. Is it the first one? First one of the bunch that I'm getting from Hidden Springs. I have a bunch of Hidden Springs reviews for you guys. Uh, just came back from Tampa. And this is in collaboration with Vitamin C out of Massachusetts, right? Yeah. So this is Spark, Sparkling Isolation, uh, uh, DDH, Galaxy Citrus Sultana. Candate. I don't see Candate, but it's from the brewery. The actual brewery, so. Mm. Let's see how this guy turns out. Boy, that is pale. Love their labels, by the way. Big guy, right? So, oh, that's happening. Okay, good. So, it's DDH. Sorry, not double IPA. Okay, cool. Oh, it has that ugly flavor, uh, ugly color to it. So, it has this kind of like tone of like. Mm. I've seen it in homebrews. It's got this like um, slightly brownish hue. If you, if you add just a little brown to your like really pale New England IPAs, um, this way to describe it, uh, we'll see how it's a little cold. It's kind of warming up in here. And again, I don't have a canning date, but they had a bunch of cans available. So, yeah. Ooh, smells familiar. It's sweet. It's um, got the kind of like random citrus thing. Like, But honestly, it smells a little bit. What is that? I think that's what it is. Um, I'm, I'll have to taste it, but like I've had New England homebrews that have been sent where it's like, New England sweetness with oxidation has this kind of just like familiar aroma and I've get hit by it before. Yeah, it's, um, it's got the hoppiness to it, but then like it doesn't pop and like, it's surely has hoppiness to it. I mean, it's like oranges and mangoes and a little bit of sticky kind of like fruit qualities to it. Who is this guy? Florida. Is that a mosquito? We got a mosquito on camera? Maybe, but anyway. A little bit of that kind of like light, kind of like wheat grainy malt, like oat wheat thing, but it's sweet, it smells sweet, which is not an aroma, but like it has the aromatics of like hops, obviously, right? The, the fruity characters are sweet characteristics. Oh, did I get that in glass now? Oh, that is not good. I don't know what I did, but oof, that idea, Darwin. Anyway, the beer's still fine. Um, yeah, that's not a good example of beer. It is fruity up front. Um, doesn't have like a rounded malt sweetness to it, and it dries out. It's like um, astringent, um, not super hot burn and chalky, not chalky, but is that oxidation? Oh, okay, let's let's, not, let's try not to look at the beer to uh, confirmation bias on it. It's sweet up front, just like the aroma. It has this like juicy sweetness, which is familiar. This New England IPA. It's like like lollipops and like just big concentrated kind of like orange concentrate, the frozen stuff. I don't know if they sell, sell those, but the concentrated or, orange um, brick that you like dilute into orange drink, orange juice, like a lot of that. But then like, it's got a like a nice kind of build of malt in the middle a little bit like bready and then okay have this i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt i don't think this beer is actually off despite looking a little funky it's probably falling off but because that color is not right yeah that's a good color uh, uh, sign of like uh, poor new england ipa in the sense of like oxidation eh, probably just old or maybe not proper canning because they definitely kept this cold but something happened so again i don't know if you guys can see that color it's just like like brownish to the yellow tones that you get from New England IPA. It tastes like homebrew, honestly, like the ones that people sent me. So um, it doesn't pop, but it has this kind of like dryness to it. It's not, I mean, how about this? I'm gonna say the color is definitely wrong. Aroma is meh, flavor, okay. Maybe I'll send them an email, but as I drink it more, it's more like just boozy, hop water. Um, doesn't have really distinct character to it. Um, I wouldn't drink this. Um, 75. Mm. For non-discerning palate, I think as hazy, you're fine. But you're going to pick it apart. I'm, maybe I'm judging a little heavy, but I don't want my hazy to look like this. Like, that doesn't look right. Yeah. And it's like very dry. Like, very, very dry. And sometimes, like... You can trick that into like hot burn and hot astringency. I think you just don't have a great beer here. So 
Let's give it even lower than that. Let's go with a um, 70, 70. Um, don't love this guy. Yeah, I'll pass. I don't know. <sighs> Not better than 70. Let's go with like a 70. Not much better. Uh, let's go with a 70 flat. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Um, I'll send another message later.